Hey, uh, thank you for joining us today for another Mental Health Monday on Seasonal Depression. We are Mental Health Wellness for Educators, and my name is Aaliyah. And my name is Naomi. And we'll be giving you hopefully an amazing workshop today. So first, let's just talk about what is seasonal depression. So seasonal depression, um, and it's also known formally as seasonal affective disorder, is a mood disorder that occurs at around the same time each year for people. It's usually trigger, it's usually triggers depression due to the change in seasons, temperature, and the amount of sunlight a person gets. Um, so it usually starts to happen in the fall and winter and gets better in the spring. However, a small percentage of people get it in the reverse in that they start getting seasonal depression starting in the spring through the summer, and it gets a little bit better in the winter. Its prevalence in the US is around 5% of adults. Some symptoms that might be associated with seasonal affective disorder is sadness, anxiety, sleep changes. So that could be getting too much or too little or having a different schedule of sleep than you, than you usually get, irritability, fatigue, inability to concentrate, weight changes, having thoughts of self-harm or suicide, and losing interest in activities you once enjoyed. And some causes of seasonal affective disorder may be brain chemical imbalance, biological clock changes, and vitamin deficiencies, especially vitamin D. However, the exact cause of seasonal affective disorder is we don't know what it is yet. It could be a lot of different things. Awesome. And then here's some ways we can combat seasonal depression. So the first point is preparation is key. So during fall time, or I guess before you personally experience seasonal depression on, uh, I guess what we could call your um, non-depressive seasons, um, make time to prioritize hanging out with friends, doing anything social outside, if you find that winter is when you experience seasonal depression, try and do outdoor activities. And this can prepare yourself mentally for your seasonal depression. The next thing would be to prioritize social outings. So during your depressive months, so for here it says winter, make socializing a priority. Um, this might be hard for college students due to work and things like that, but as much as you can, um, try to prioritize socialization and it can help you feel less alone and less anxious. Um, the next thing is to talk to your doctor. Your doctor can help you figure out medications or vitamins you can take to prevent seasonal depression or at least help seasonal depression. And then there's also light therapy. So light that mimics the sun can help regulate and trigger brain chemicals similar to being outside. Um, there's uh, a lot of different ways that can prevent seasonal depression, but these are a few we made. And then we'll also talk about misconceptions of seasonal depression. Um, so the first one is seasonal depression is the same as anyone feeling tired during winter. So this is not true. Those with seasonal depression um, experience this on much deeper level than those who just feel tired at the beginning of winter. Um, Others who don't have seasonal depression can usually bounce back afterwards, but those with seasonal depression find themselves um, having their depressive episode for months on end. The second one, seasonal depression is a minor form of depression. So seasonal depression is considered a major depressive disorder. It's not just something small. Um, and then the third one is that it can be cured with light box therapy of seasonal depression. Um, for a lot of people, it can help a bunch, but, but there still might be some individuals who need more things to help with their depression. And then here are some CAPS resources we have. Um, we have the number, the webpage, email, and then programs available at CAPS for anyone who may be struggling. Feel free to reach out if you just need someone to talk to and you need some help. So thank you for coming today and listening to us. Thank you.